A cocktail for a tradition unlike any other. Now on the tea. Welcome back. And today, I'm going to create the Azalea. Now, the Azalea is the official cocktail of the Masters. The Masters, if you remember my John Daly episode a few weeks ago, the Masters is one of four men's professional golf major championships. And it is held at Augusta National Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia on the second weekend of April. And to quote Jim Nance, it is a tradition unlike any other with not only the presentation of the green jacket for the winner of the Masters Tournament, but also for other traditions, the Champions Dinner, where the previous year's champion selects a menu and previous champions arrive and enjoy the dinner. Um, other traditions would be if you make a hole in one at the Masters, you receive a piece of crystal. Um, to commemorate the uh, ace that you shoot for a particular hole or any uh, of the par threes at Augusta National. Also, there is Butler Cabin, which is where amateurs stay because Augusta National Golf Club was the brainchild of Bobby Jones, who is considered to be the world's most famous amateur golfer and is one of a very select few people. I think he might only, he might actually be the only one to have ever accomplished the calendar Grand Slam. And this is not to be mixed up with say the Tiger Slam that Tiger Woods was able to pull off from the US Open in 2000 all the way until the Masters in 2001. No, this is when it was the US Open the U.S. Amateur, the British Open, and the British Amateur, and Bobby Jones won all four. So, the reason that this is called the Azalea is on the famed 13th, which is a part of Amen Corner. If you look at a picture or you look at the telecast of the Masters, you will see the 13th green and then just a wall of Azaleas. It is arguably one of the most picturesque golf holes in the entire world. So let's make this. I am using the official Augusta National recipe, though you can go search for others. Let's make it. This is a shaken cocktail, which means grab a shaker. It's funny how that works, right? I need a half ounce of grenadine. Please make your own if at all possible. And by the way, if you want to learn how to make grenadine, I'll have a link to how to make your own cocktail syrups in the description below and also up here. Now there is some difference between the official uh, Augusta National way of making the azalea and how others do. Others may do lemon juice and uh, pineapple juice but the reality is it's lemonade i need five ounces of lemonade and now for the alcoholic component i need one and a quarter ounces of vodka i am using tito's use whatever you wish it is completely fine. Ice in cocktail. In. There we go. Three, two, go. This will be served in a Collins glass and a Collins spear. Hawthorne, down. 
string. And this is Nazalia. Cheers. It's like a boozy pink lemonade. The grenadine adds sweetness. The lemonade is sweet anyway, slightly. Um, the vodka, it adds the you know, alcoholic component. It's refreshing. It's tasty. It's a good drink. Um, one, if you are a fan of golf and you want to enjoy a beverage that might not be too heavy, but is appropriate for the masters. Have one of these. I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you like the video, hit the like button, comment, share the video. If you want to use any of the barware I use on my show, check down below. There's a link to kit.co, which has everything I utilize in my bar under the sun, aside from the alcohol, of course. The Amazon affiliate links, which means if you click the link, make a purchase of the item, I receive a kickback. Thank you if you choose to do so. Find all my socials in the description below. I'm back to streaming. Check the check the streaming sites you see here. You know, for two and a half years, I've been making this, but I feel it's time for me to say goodbye. Find me on the streaming platforms. You may see me on another YouTube channel. But for now, it is goodbye. Thank you for watching. The Beginner's Bar is closed.